Hey fellow Jeepers, it's Andrew here. And uh, today we're gonna be doing an install on the SRC Smitty Belt roof rack for the Jeep Wrangler. on YouTube there's not very many videos on the actual rack system install uh, so when I was on YouTube I was looking for a install uh, to make it a little bit easier just for myself to, to get the steps right and I uh, couldn't find anything so um, I wanted to do my own video so that I could help you guys first I'm gonna need one of these The reason why I'm installing this roof rack is I'm using a rooftop tent, which I have bought the Smitty Built 2883, and it's going to sit on the top. So uh, me and my fiance will be going to Utah, Colorado, so we want to kind of have a good little setup. So that's kind of what I'm rolling with. I hope you guys stay tuned, but let's do this installation, and uh, we'll uh, go from there is the packaging the unboxing basically two boxes one's about four feet high and the other one's a smaller one but it, they're pretty heavy there's your part number and description so there's the product packaged your brackets are on there and then all your longer bars I gotta say one thing about uh, Smitty Built they package this very well so uh, I don't think you're gonna get a whole lot of damage because they, really, they put in bubble wrap, they put on like a foam, so everything's well packed. My plan is the bumper. It'll mount onto the frame, so I basically have to take the whole bumper off. I want to keep the bumper, so I'm gonna have to drill a two inch hole on the top and I'll have to slit, cut the inside and kind of slit it so that it can come on through. But we'll see how it works. And I got my little helper. I got my little helper, Samson. He's gonna bring me my tools. So I'll have to mount the brackets here and then it comes up around and then down and then mounts into the frame. I'm just removing the bracket from the frame. And then I'll do the repeat to the other side. You'll also have to take off the center brackets. There's two of them. And also, you gotta use a 5 8 socket for these bolts. Half inch drive is what I'm using, but it's a little tricky up in the, the exhaust. The exhaust pipe's in the way, so I gotta use something a little smaller. Yeah, I had to use a smaller ratchet and uh, socket 5 8 to get under this bracket because the exhaust, but it's working. So here's a better look, and that's where I have to mount the, uh, the brackets. That's kind of the look of it without the back bumper. Shut the door there. I'm almost thinking about getting a uh, aftermarket bumper. Might be easier. Right here is the back brackets. Like basically go into the back of the frame. This is gonna go into there. And then up through here. And all the weight is gonna 
be off this frame because we're gonna have a lot like two people three people sleeping up on the roof that's a lot of weight so you have to do it to the frame I don't really want to drill it into the body I don't really want the weight to be distributed on my body so here's what I did I took everything out of the packages and I placed it where it needs to go all around the Jeep I wasn't going to use instructions but I saw that there was a whole whack load of fasteners so I've organized them now I know some of them I'm not going to use because I think you use some for the body the drill in the body so I don't need to worry about that so I'm going to look at the instructions I'm going to figure out which goes where and then the official install so what I did here is you just got to remove the bolts from the side of the windshield and you just remove all four so these foam pads you need to stick on the brackets so when you put it up on to your windshield this doesn't rub on your uh, your finish so these protect that so that's what I'm putting on right now I put this one on I'm gonna put them on all four Adhesive is really good on these, so it sticks well. Put the pads on. So that'll save the paint. What I did is I took the hex bolts, put them in with a bigger washer and a lock washer. And then I just do all four. I installed both sides first, but you're supposed to, obviously, it was a stupid on my part, but you install the one side bracket then you put the center bar in and then you install the other bracket up in and then you just click it in right into this bar and then bolt them in I kind of jumped the gun on that one but I'm just showing you kind of what I did so I put the top bar on it's connected to the mounted brackets you got to use a 65 millimeter Allen key bolt right there and put it through with a nylock. Now I got to do the back side. So where I mount the back bracket, I take the, uh, the bigger bolts and you can see I put the plate here. There's actually a mounting plate that goes into the rectangular tube of the uh, frame. So I'm just going to show you here. So this, this plate goes right back in here and then they basically just, they basically just clamp together and then you just tighten everything up. Actually it's pretty easy and then you use your old bolts from the bumper to put into the um, to put in the bracket where they were before because it's all threaded in there anyway so I just tighten up these bolts nice and snap and there's the bar that comes up and then I come up over top of the hard top and along down the side of it and connect to the front so I have to zip cut off the back tow hook off the bumper because it's all rusted on and I can't unscrew it. So I'm going to chop it off. Hooks off. Now I can mount this side of the bracket on this side. So for the back end of the rack system, uh, I had a little bit of trouble with this. What I was doing is I was putting this back piece that runs up here and it ends there. When you're attaching to the frame of the back, the back piece of the rack, is you have to install the whole, this whole piece all as one and then you gotta put it on. So you do need help for that, which I had to get my wife to help me with that. 
Just have the front piece attached where the windshield is and then have your bars running along downside and have them just hanging or somebody, preferably somebody holding them for you because I did drop it on the side of the Jeep and I did mark it up, but uh, I guess that adds character. I'm saying that now because I'm not bothered, but when it happened, I was like, God damn it, my beautiful blue Jeep. <laughs> Anyways, it's done, it's over with, whatever, but live and learn. So that helps you install your rack and avoid damaging the siding of your Jeep, even though it's a Jeep. Right now, I'm putting on my cross beams and uh, you get a knob, classic knob, and then you put in your long uh, hex key bolt up through. You put your knob on and then you can just tighten them up with the knob so it makes it a little easier, which is nice. And then when I want to move them side to side, different holes, areas, I can just untwist these knobs and then uh, I can relocate them wherever I want. So it's pretty easy. Here is the cross members all across. And you can adjust them. So here is the end finish product. system only fits the Jeep Wrangler JK's uh, 2007 to 2018 so now there's other rack systems out there that can fit the JK's but uh, I do like the beefiness of this rack it's heavy-duty uh, I know I'm gonna have a lot of weight up top because I'm gonna have you know 150 pound rooftop tent plus two maybe three people and uh, I just I needed something heavy duty so um, I'd be throwing my kayak up there as well a nice feature that Smitty built designed for this rack you can take off your hard top while the rack is still on so there's enough height here there's almost got to be like six inches there so you can lift up the top take it off and if you want to put your soft top on you are able to take off the cross member bars and you would be able to flip up the soft top so you can take it off and on if you if you want so that's kind of a nice feature that there's a good space uh, going up and out so that you're able to take off your hard top and to use your soft top the way you want to use it so you're still able to use that with this rack system so that's something nice that Smitty built designed on this rack system so I just came back from a drive and it actually seems pretty good a little noisy but not too bad I thought it'd been worse um, you can feel it's a little heavier because I mean this thing does weigh 180 pounds So guys, if you want to see my adventures with my Jeep Wrangler JK, my rack system and rooftop tent, click here and that'll take you there. So come along, follow the adventure, subscribe to my channel. These are some pretty good stuff. Let now I just got to put on the rooftop tent. Sometimes I like to give her a little tap on the ass and tell her good game. Thanks for taking me where I need to go. I love, I love.